Awesome. So now in this video, we're going to see how to create a conversion action or a conversion tracking code. So for that, first we need to sign into our AdWords account. So as you can see, I'm already logged in inside my AdWords account. And now the second step it says is we need to go into tools and conversions. So let's just click on tools and we see conversions. Let's click on conversions. And on the next step, what we will be seeing is you see a tab in red color option, which would say conversions and a plus sign against it. All right. So let's just wait for a couple of seconds and bang like that. It would be on our page. So it's still loading. All right. There you go. So it says understand how AdWords help you achieve your business goals. So now this is the page which you will be seeing for the first ever time because you don't have any conversions. Once you add one single conversion, then all of a sudden you'll have a dashboard over here every single time when you click on tools and conversions. All right. So this is the first time which you'll be seeing like this page. So now we'll be clicking on this plus sign of conversion and we'll be seeing four different options which we can track. Whether we want to track some purchases, form submissions or other actions on our website or some app, phone calls or import. So for us, we will be tracking the activities on our website. So let's just select this option. Now in the second option, what we see is the settings bar. So for our settings, we just nickname our conversion tag. So let's suppose I want to track each and every single lead which is being captured on my page. So I will just keep a reference name like lead tag all right this is just for my reference so i'll say done and then the next step is value so enter how much each conversion is worth to your business so just because this is just a lead there is no value all right there is no value i can simply say one it's just for my reference against let's suppose um i'm tracking one conversion which is a purchase all right i'm tracking one product purchase and if that product purchase is around 100 rupees, so I'll say my value is 100 rupees, all right? Or if you just keep it by default, then by default, the value would be one. Now there are three options. Each time it happens, the conversion action has the same value or the value of this conversion action may vary, for instance, by purchase price. So if my product is one or if my product are 10 and all are the same prices, then I can say over here, let's suppose 100 rupees. If my product range is 100 rupees or the product price is 100 rupees, I'll say 100 over here and I'll click on done. Or let's suppose my value of the conversion action is varying according to the product. So I'll just set the value over here. But for that, you need to track and you need to do some coding on this transaction specific value. So you simply have to click on this and then you will be guided to some coding which you will have to take care of. But for this, um, purpose demonstration purpose will go for each time it happens the conversion action has the same value all right or we can assign no value so assuming we have same value we'll click on this and assuming 100 as the value we'll click on done third option is count so choose how would you like to count your conversions example if one ad click is leading to three different purchases that will count as three conversions so Let's go to google.com and search for digital marketing. While we search for digital marketing, if I'm able to see this particular ad and if I'm clicking on this and I'm doing some conversion activity, whether it can be a lead or some product purchase as a visitor, then this particular company who is doing this advertisement is getting one conversion after this one click. All right. So now let's look into this. If one ad click leads to three purchases, then that will count three conversions. So now assuming that I'm just clicking on this. So I have clicked on this ad. So that is one single ad click. All right. And now assuming that there are a couple of products on this page. All right. If there are a couple of products on this page and I'm doing some activity over here and I'm purchasing three different products. So what it has done? one single ad click has lead into three different conversions. So whether that business owner wants them as three or one is dependent on the business owner. So if that business owner wants that one single click lead to three purchases and he wants to count it as three conversion, then he will click on every. And if one ad click leads to three purchases and if he or she wants to calculate as one single conversion, then 
they would be clicking on one all right so this depends on you if you are tracking some sales then probably you can go for this option if you are tracking just a lead you can go for this option all right so let's just go by this one as we are tracking lead and i'll click on done next is conversion windows all right in this conversion window what this is is choose how long you would like to track conversions for the following so let's suppose i'm clicking one single ad today so from today till 30 days if i'm selecting 30 days so from today till 30 days all the conversions which happen from that particular click would be calculated as my conversion all right and at max i can have up to 90 days so now let's just click on this learn mode and i'll give you one particular example wherein you will better understand this conversion action or conversion window so let's suppose here is an example of how a conversion window would work if someone has clicked your ad on march 1 all right so if on march 1 your conversion window is set up to 30 days then conversions between now and march 30th will be counted for this particular click let's suppose on march 7th once again i optimize my conversion and i change it to 10 days instead of 30 days so conversions before march 10 will be counted for this march 1 click that click which happened on march 1 from that particular click till 10 days that is march 10 all the conversions would be calculated and now if on march 16 i'm changing my conversion window again back to 28 days all right that is 20 days then a march 13 conversion from this click which happened on march 1 which wasn't counted within the last window so my last window was just for 10 days so obviously the conversion which has happened on march 13 won't be calculated for this 10 days window all right but now just because i have converted it to 20 days though this march 13 was not calculated it would still not be counted in this 20 days window but future conversions before march 20 will now be counted for march 1 click so anything which happens on 17th, 18th, 19th or 20th would be counted for this March 1 click as my conversion. So that is what you mean by this conversion windows. And this conversion window, if you have this search network or display network, then from ad clicks, it's based on ad clicks. And if you are having CPM, which is based on impressions, then it won't be for clicks it would be just for your image or rich media ad display network ads all right so this is what your conversion window is so let's assume i'm just skipping it 30 days and i'm clicking on done and then next is our category so category you can just select anything if you are tracking a particular conversion for lead you can select lead if you are tracking newsletter signups you can put up signups you can say purchase or sale and if that is no any other uh, mention the particular conversion which you want to track is not mentioned over here you can simply select other all right so for the time being let's select lead as we are tracking lead and i'll say done including conversions if you want to include in conversions then yes or you can uncheck this but if you uncheck this then still it would show up in the all conversions tab which you'll see in the report section all right so simply click done and once you hit save and continue now this will give you a brief summary all right so let's go back to our document and let's see the step-by-step -step formula so we had done our conversions over here and then we selected our website we have set up all these parameters and now we are having this including conversions and save and continue so on the next screen with your save settings and conversion tracking tag we'll be following some inst instructions which would customize and save our tag. All right. So in the next video, I will talk to you and I'll make you learn how to install this tag in your website to track all your conversion. So see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye and stay awesome.